Hi there, Marcus here from Forpos. Um, customers always keep on asking the same questions. Um, can they change pricing of a product on the fly? And the answer is yes, you can. You can change the price to uh, whatever you want it to be on the fly, but there's no limit to what you're going to allow a, cus a cashier to change the price to. In other words, if you allow the cashier to change the price, they can do anything. They can make it one cent, uh, they can make it 10 cents, they could sell the most expensive product in your business for one cent, uh, and then to ask and say, well, can we get an override price report? Well, uh, again, all of that should be eliminated because you can't keep on policing people, okay? They will make mistakes or mistakes on deliberate purpose. Uh, they will help their friends, they will steal, uh, whatever the motivation is for it, whatever the justification for it is. So again, 4Pos does not allow for that because there's simply better ways of doing it. So let's get into the detail. All right, so first of all, you can see on the screen there, we've got the point of sale sales channel in blue right at the top underneath the company name. Um, now, at the moment, that product is selling for 25 Rand. If I now press uh, my beat default button to allow me to change the sales channels um, and the little menu comes up, in my case now it's Shift F11, I can then go and change the sales channel on the fly in the sale, okay, and say that, okay, I want to now sell this product to this customer at sales channel 2, okay, or I'll obviously uh, the cashier can log in at a different price channel to start off with. In other words, now you can see the prices automatically changed to 11 Rand. Now, please bear in mind that this applies to all products. In other words, if you're in sales channel number two, all the items in that basket or in that sale will change to sales channel number two. Um, or I can go and change it and say, no, 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 I want to do it at a argument, say, cost plus five. Now, I've set up my cost channel, sales channel at cost plus five. So now it works out to nine Rand. So now by... Uh, allowing using the sales channels I can limit my sales amounts and making sure that I never lose money on a sale uh, and if my percentages and stuff is correct okay so let's have a look at the detail of that all right I've set up a, a little I've set up a little spreadsheet to make it easier to explain or possibly easier I hope um, and I've taken the product Castle Lager Dumpy there's 24 in a case Cost price for the case is 175. It works out to 729 per item. My sales channel one, which is my POS sales channel, selling at 25 Rand. Sales channel two is 999. And how we did that, or how we achieved that, is by looking at the, the pricing group details or the matrix price specifically, and saying, fine, my sales channel two is cost plus 20. Okay. Uh, sales channel 3 is cost plus 17 and a half, 4 is 15, etc. All right. And that way that I can always make sure that I'm getting the maximum profit uh, in different sales channels. And of course, that I'm controlling my pricing structures. All right. So if we look at the right hand side, this little picture over here, we can see that uh, the sales channel uh, is set up to say it will be. Um, Arguments say sales channel number six. Of course, you can change the name and you can even change the short name, which will then appear on your dashboard and all other reports and say that this is the rule is that it's always the same as the default sales channel, okay, or cheaper, as you can see. And this will be then the price of the default sales channel plus the pricing group percentage. So if you look at sales channel number six over here, all right, it will say then take your normal price, your 25 Rand or 25% that it's was calculated, in other words, that price, okay, less uh, for channel six is less 10%, okay, in other words, it will take 10% off your price of 25 Rand, which will then work out to your 2250 over there, all right, again, uh, if it's a little bit quick, uh, go work through it slowly, take a calculator. Uh, work it out for yourself, see what makes sense to you. So, uh, and then it's it, it will just come together. All right, so cost price or the cost sales channel then. Here we said that, no, on this one, I want to do the cost plus the pricing group percentage. In other words, I want to go and say, look at my cost price. And again, let's look at the cost sales channel over here. 
it says cost plus five in other words eh? cost plus cost price plus five percent so it will take my cost price which I said over there all right of 729 plus then my five percent which is I depicted over there and that will work out to a price of nine rand and that is where the price of nine rand comes through here all right so that's the one way of selling then on those different price channels will be uh, by changing the sales channel uh, as I showed you earlier all right uh, al the alternate menu sales channel over there the alternative would have been to say but okay we're selling it to the specific customers now if we sell to a specific customer we will simply press F6 for account sale and then you will have your customers set up automatically uh, to say that it's a sales channel 3 customer or a sales channel 2 customer or whatever and uh, obviously in your back office you would have created in the back office if I want to do it on a customer base all right so in other words I don't want the cashier to have to go and select a different sales channel or anything like that I could then just create a customer and I could say this customer is still a COD customer in other words they must still pay they can't give it on an account so they will still prompt you for the amount and so on but this customer all right will be in sales will charge sales channel 2 prices okay so automatically when I ring the product up to this customer it will ring up the sales channel 2 prices okay and of course you can have the same for sales channel number 3 all right and four and five and six and whatever so arguments take on my cost plus five type of customer in other words that very special person he will then pay sales channel number oh sorry sales channel cost okay so let's go and try that theory all right so again let's go all the way back and I'm going to change my sales channel back to point of sale so I've got my 25 rand there okay okay so there I'm back to the normal sale I now want to sell to this very special customer that insists on getting the very special price and of course uh, they are insistent that they are very special okay so I'm going to press F6 for account sale and I'm going to select my cost plus five customer uh, automatically as soon as I click on proceed you'll see that it's automatically has changed it to cost plus five prices and now prompting the customer to pay the account or the invoice okay um, obviously if you don't want to proceed with that you can press simply press escape um, and then do your f6 again for another type of customer you'll see the price has gone back to the normal price I can go and select my sales channel 2 customer pricing channel automatically there and it will sell at 9.99 or whatever the price may be all right so that's where we want to land up we want to get to that point where we are able to have different pricing structures uh, within the same database uh, for different types of customers without having to go and override and do discounts and pricing structures specifically so let's go to the detail of how did we get there all right so let's go back to the beginning all right so first of all um, if you're going to allow your cashiers to be able to do those sales channel changes you need to be able to make sure that they have got the permission uh, to change sales channels so as you can see on my default over here I've got all the different sales channels ticked in other words when they log in they can choose which one which price channel they should use you might want to use those sales channels for other things but for this example it's specifically for to create different pricing structures for different types of cashiers for that matter or sales for that matter it might be a bulk counter it might just be uh, the normal kind of thing all right so that's the one part of it the um, next thing we want to do is we want to go to the actual product so I'm going to select my castle lager dumpy product and as you can see from the spreadsheet there is my cost prices and so on in and then if I go to my pricing all right the default is obviously it will always show sales channel point of sale but if you click on the little arrow there it will show you all the others so let's go through it as we said earlier the price is 25 Rand if I go to sales channel number two you'll see that it automatically calculates it at 9 Rand 99 the override price over here in red okay or um, sales channel three so it happens that it'll also be 999 because the percentage is very small difference between them between 15 and 17 
if I go down to my cost sales channel, that's obviously, as you can see over there, cost plus five, that works out to eight Rand 90. Okay. Um, and uh, to get to the detail of that, how we set that up. All right. I'm just going to click on detail, go to my pricing group over there and then go to my beers and ciders. So in my beers and ciders, I've got my rounding rules over here about what should happen. And then there's my percentages. All right. Uh, sales channel 2, 20%, 17.5%, 15%, 10%. And then sales channel 10, oh, sorry, 6, I've set up to say less 10% of the default price channel. Okay. In other words, 10% off the 25 Rand. And then sales channel 7, 15% off the normal price. And then cost is obviously 5 plus. Now I'm saying obviously, but again, let's go and check it. And where you will do all of these settings uh, is you'll go to store setup and security, maintain sales channels. And there you will set up all your rules. So in my rules, I will say sales channel number two will be cost plus over here. Very important. And then it will always be the same or cheaper. In other words, it will take the cost plus uh, and then work it out. But then it will be make sure that it's the relationship to the first sales channel, which is then point of sale, is the same or cheaper. All right. Um, the same applies then to for uh, sorry for number three. And four. And then we get a little bit different thing where we do sales channel number six, where we say, no, no, no. Here we want to do the price of the default sales channel plus that. Now, that's the one that we did. a, a, a uh, Let's go back and have a look. That's where we did the sales channel t six is where we did the, the selling price of the 25 Rand price, that one, less our 10%. And as you can see, it worked out there to 22.50. And then sales channel seven was again the default less fifteen percent, so that will sell at twenty one twenty five. All right. Uh, back to our back office sales channel there, and then seven we set up the same type of thing. Uh, default sales channel less the fifteen percent, and cost price channel would be cost again plus the five percent. All right. So as you can see, if you use those type of uh, or that facility within four pos which is standard um, it will allow you to do all of the things that you want to do in terms of pricing structures um, if you spend a little bit of time on that and not use override prices and everything works on percentages and the matrix uh, as well as the sales channels you will find that any type of pricing structures that you want to do in the system is easy to use and simple and it's within your control you can control the percentages that you allow for for discounts and things like that so you don't land up with a situation again where your cashiers can uh, literally just ring up anything at any price and then um, have to know and say well how do we control it well this is how you control it hope you enjoy